Teach me how to seduce Ice Queen lawyers, please. Quizzically raise your eyebrow and stare at their mouth. This will send psychic messages that it's time to suck face. Ah. <laughs> As you can see, every man has his own way of eating yogurt. Ryuji is going for the prostitute route. Because, you know, sometimes you just need $20. The world's oldest profession. A noble profession. I mean, I know I couldn't do it. No, I do far less respectable things, like corporate finance. And I'm not going to be more specific. Whoa. Yo, it's Mishima. Um. Alright, it's now a three-pronged attack. She won't stand a chance. To prepare for psychic interface with the maid, though, Randa will start with On, as training. He does some stretches, listens to Eye of the Tiger. On looks on, confused, and yet somehow intrigued. The confidant route is just getting started. Um. Yes? Oh. She's a victim. She shouldn't feel bad for how that all turned out. We all make mistakes. The important thing is to acknowledge and learn from them, so we can keep moving forward. Good for you. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. Fuck yeah, bond points. Now I know I did well. Hey. Well, hey, where there's evil to be corrected, there shall I be. I couldn't just ignore you. Hmm, what do you have in mind? I mean, that's not such a ridiculous idea in a world where people's minds manifest as supernatural powers. You see, this is another way that Persona 5 reveals itself as a documentary video game. Because if a woman likes what you have to say, she'll generally give you physical cues. And if she doesn't like it, she'll make a rude comment. Or call the police. The book detailed it. You have to be careful. I guess that would be an improvement for On. I... Alright, look, I have a baseball game to get to, so I'm just going to leave you here, alone. Bye. It's time. <sighs> hmm. Listen, Mishima, you came from a supremely invertebrate background, always bending and scraping beneath Kamoshida, too weak to change anything. But you're not like that anymore, right? Right. Sure, I'll do it. Hello, yes, I'd like a girl. Average height, healthy weight, good blood pressure, can tie cherry pits with her tongue. Well, that's more of a nice to have, I suppose. No, let's start with her cleaning the floor, by hand. And then you guys can watch like a bunch of creepy weirdos, and I'll be reading National Geographic in the background. Too cool for school. Yes, yeah, stay cool. Ryuji! Ugh, I'm not even surprised. What is this, attempted revenge for that time we went to the castle? What? No, Mishima, don't! You guys are fucking losers. Hey, hey. Welcome home, Master. Master, huh? Am I really? Well, I do have a list of commands. First, you have to clean every inch of this place. With your tongue, it's filthy. Then, you can eat your own hair. The night is young, and obscenity shall unfurl from my mind like the petals of a flower. Subjugation. Subjugation. Of course, I might relent if you beg for mercy. Cooking, huh? I guess I could go for some ratatouille. It had better be fucking flawless. Thank you. I'm actually in middle school. Hit my growth spurt early. No way. No lies here. <sighs> Ryuji! What, are they really just looking through the fucking blinds? Like, Ryuji opens one of the blades and stares, mouth agape at this pathetic scene while Mishima buries his face in his hands? How did no one notice that until now? Hmm. Wait. It's that tiresome asshole from the beginning of the game. Karma caught up to her, I guess. 
gamble too much in the pachinko parlor. There are a few casinos in Japan, but human vice always finds a way to destroy lives. Yeah, she might have stuck some fat leeches on the back of her head, but there's no denying that face. It's her, Sadayo Kawakami. I remember it because of the tone she had while saying it. The tone of someone who had given up all hope. The tone of someone whose spirit died a long time ago. Hmm. Maybe we can be friends after all. I mean, I'm no longer at risk of getting expelled, right? I'm a superhero. By the way, why would she pick the name Becky? That's way less cool than Sadayo Kawakami. It must have been an identity thing. But there are cooler aliases than that. Hey. Ryuji. He was being a real loser about it too, not like me. It wasn't Miss Chono. Good for her though, if she's actually being attentive after the crisis of camo shit ass. No, you need all the help you can get. You owe me big time, though. Good. Well, that's the end of that role-playing session. Too bad. I was really getting into character, too. Hmm. Fucking school. Good morning. Ugh. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just going to class. I'm acting the same as usual. I see. God, I hate you. Yeah, well, at least she's having a bad day, too. Although I will say that being able to apparently just skip through all the lectures improves my mood a little. Hmm. Any texts? Nothing good. Alright, let's see if we can find her. I need Kawakami's expertise on an urgent academic issue. Please let us be. That's right, Kawakami. And we have one of them right now. Please hurry. That allayed suspicion pretty quickly. Nice. Yeah, she's not too bright, is she? Okay. Alright. Yeah, I can do that. Exactly, from the blonde's yellow phone. I know what that is. Why do you have a cat in your bag? Why are you dressing like a shitty maid by night? Touché. Now I just need the real voice actor to bring my dreams to reality. Yes. Really. You fucking suck on. Ugh, I need to pull it together. These are my minions. It's okay. I'll help her along. There is a bit of heart beneath it all. And around it, a hollow that can be filled by our holy mission. Bond level 3. That is the level we are at. Hmm. Villains do tend to be closer to the human heart. Even sexy, huh? That does not sound one iota like justice. That sounds like she... Wait, she wants to be like the main villain when she's fighting as the hero? My oh my, An really is confused. But at least it is a pro-social confusion. And perhaps there is something to be gleaned from that. How often are our ideals completely divorced from reality? Not just through environment, but our own choices. How often do we blunder through life not by our own will, but by the crushing, soulless construct that is civilization? A greater will. A will to death. Hoo hoo. Ha ha. Nice. Bathing gives you three charm points. So that's how it works. That's a bad joke. I bathe regularly. You know... If you want, you can tell me some of your ideas. That's really sad. Why don't you come over sometime and get a coffee? Well, maybe some other time. Amen, brother. Alright, these two kissed and made up. That's the whole kitten caboodle. You fucking... Socialism sucks, said the serf. Yes, but you see, then they'd have to pay them and that would quickly cut into their profit margins. It's much easier to just load everything on one guy, and then pick your nose when they complain like a subhuman piece of trash. What are they going to do? Nothing! <laughs> oh, politics, huh? I wonder. You're just shouting a bunch of platitudes. How are you going to address labor shortages? 
What are your views on the country's relationship with China for manufacturing? What the fuck does this sign say that you gave me? Sucker. Dipshit. It was very cool. I liked the part where you basically said, Don't be a bad person. Revolutionary. Well, I guess for some people it might be. He blew off work to take a vacation and called the voters idiots. That's good enough for me. Teach me your ways, ugly man. Oh shit, it's the sun. Perhaps even the champion of the sun? Maybe someday. That's right, I lied and said I wanted a position in government, ironically placing me one step closer to said position in spirit. One sec, I need my barf bag. I don't fucking know. What do you think I am, a Jedi? But in secret, I really am a Jedi. Oh, Here we go. Public shaming on the big screen. Plainly put, I... Plagiarized work. That's right. I... I tainted this... This... Country's art world Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> That's it. Evil is defeated. This is like in the classroom. Even the dullards are starting to understand. Soon, justice shall reign over all. Every villain, from sea to shining sea, shall live in rightful fear. And then they'll fucking stop. A new kingdom shall form, under a great banner of red and black, taking in and destroying all iniquity. It's just on a time release. Oh no. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Yes, we wanted some tea. Green tea. Is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? Well, there are tea shops around, aren't there? We were just discussing where we should go. Yeah, what she said. Well, all right. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Oh? Well, I did make some suggestions earlier. Are we going to take those into consideration, finally? Will this be a turning point in the story? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. You know, I think we need one of those shock callers for Ryuji. And that's the end of the discussion, isn't it? Great. At least we'll have a scapegoat. Person in the black mask? Tell us about Shadow Rando. I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. Well, we did violate his basic autonomy as a human and brainwash him. I guess some consequences are inevitable. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? I am the hero, you know. Such things are expected. I really do like Sai's look. The grey colouring is unnatural, but in an understated way, different from having, say, pink hair. It accents her character perfectly, which of course, is quite pretty in its own right. The power, that spirit, that light shining in the pit. Ah, I despise being a limited being. Sai is cool. She just said, uh, now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honour. She said that to follow her own convictions and track down something she perceived as evil, just like the Phantom Thieves. The sooner we get her to realize that we are justice, the better. Meanwhile... That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. This plot is so scary. The Hair Hunters against... us. They have all the shitty people in the universe, but we have magical superpowers. The immovable object against an unstoppable force. A tale as old as time. See, this is how you know we're on the side of justice. Would the establishment have been able to do this? No. It would have written off Yusuke as an acceptable loss as it whistled along to fucking oblivion. Rando knows this, and feels validated by the comment. Rando is the type of person to think Light Yagami was right in Death Note. Which I don't agree with, personally. That would be a point of contention between us. Although I can empathize, because normally people are so disingenuous when discussing it, that I can see how it would be frustrating. Both of us agree that he's deeply flawed, of course. The question is one of the world, in reasonable doubt. It gets pretty messy, after a little while. 
Nice one, Yoshida. That'll appeal to both sides. Destroy evil. Er, freedom for all. Curly and Moe are having their evil meeting. Oh, how the turntables turn. Speaking of which, it's time for mementos. Tch. You think you're so clever with those multi-target attacks, but guess what? We got healing. Yeah, our power is maturing, like a butterfly from a caterpillar. And do you know what that means? Do it! Another brick in the wall. You are a beloved neighbor. Yes, it is. Impudent man. Not to be considered pudent, ye imps. Oh, for sure. It's humanity. And God. And myself. In that order. And maybe forget the last one, if I'm lucky. Jokes are like condoms. Either you have them, or you don't. The ascension continues. Uh... Let's dispense with the snowman. To be a phantom thief is to be free. To ride the wave of time into tomorrow, and tell the shitty adults in charge to go sit on it. They look on in envy. If I had to have a miserable life, so do you! They shout, charging like a living wave of grey goo flesh. But the phantom thieves are too fast for them, and stay out of reach. Meanwhile, Rando is discussing the latest anime releases. He likes All Might, but can't get over how he took his hair from a rabbit. Ryuji, of course, thinks it looks cool. Yusuke, unfortunately, thinks it redeems his character design. They're having an argument. An says she likes Momo. Okay. She'd get more of a reaction from saying that she likes Toga, the blood-drinking villainess. But she can't say that. She's just mean! Well, if he does, then there is no wrongdoing. But then again, if he did, then you wouldn't be in mementos, now would you? Judgment shall break you. Alright, I don't know her weaknesses. Let's start with fire. Oh. Fate's on my side today. Most things don't like fire. Please hurry up, it's time. Level 19. Drinking the blood of Jesus. Hmm. The human heart is an irritating thing, isn't it? So much delusion. It can make a man sick. Repent. Repent! Oh dang, another area just opened up before us. But I think that's enough exploring color-coded subway sections for now. Let's go back. Ugh, excellent.